Right, so 33 minutes after 10 o'clock. And of course, as I promised you guys, we have our interview segment this morning. Uh, two lovely young gentlemen with us today. Blushing. I don't know why you all blushing so much. Well, she said young. She said young, so I like it. You feel nice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel nice. I just feel the same way too, so. I feel nice. I feel nice. Spread the love. Spread the love. Spread the love. I feel nice. Yeah. We've got Slammer Cutter and Jax with us this morning. Morning. Welcome to 96 number one. First time? Yeah, first time. First time, yeah. And first time with me as well? Yes. Yes. All right. So not the last. Never, never, uh-huh. never. How y'all feeling? Great, great. Great good, to be good, home. Good. Great to be in the sun, in the soil, in the soca. Right. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah, man. Feeling positive this morning. All right. So let me start on both of you. For those who don't know, uh-huh. I'm going to yeah. start with Slammer Cutter. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell us a little history about you. For those who don't know, who've never heard or whatever, let us know. I know we were talking during the commercial break and you tell me that you've been in the industry for over 10 years. Yeah, for 10 years. Yeah. Basically, born and grow in Kumuto Village. Okay. Off of Arima. You All know right. what I mean? Went to Rima Senior Comprehensive, did A-Levels there, migrated to Toronto about 14 years ago, did my schooling across there, and just basically representing, singing soca, and just trying to spread the music and spread the joy. What made you start off in the soca industry of all, you know, you said you did the A-Levels and stuff like that. Yeah. You could have gone a different direction. Yeah, for sure. Just music is a passion to me, and just being around other soca artists from the Arima Kumoto area and right. just really getting inspired by them and getting into it mm. and i realized as well when i went across to canada to live you know what i mean keep the culture flying and just keep it going and since that uh-huh. i've been doing my thing and you know i always say that um I'm, I'm sure you would feel the same sentiments as well that when you're abroad yeah people tend to feel the love more you appreciate it yeah, yeah. you appreciate me, it, it. you yeah. appreciate it much more you know what I mean? Because certain things I could look back now and say, I never really appreciated it living home. But when you go abroad and it's scarce, it, 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 just, it just blows your mind. So what, what, what um, continue to give you that push and that drive to continue? Just keeping, you know, link with everyone home and following up and just being part of that culture and holding on to home. I really don't want to lose that. You know what I mean? I just want to keep that going and just like live inside of me. The name Slammer Cutter, where you got that from? Well, Slammer is just basically from my lyrics. They say that my lyrics pierce and cutter. It okay. means, you know what I mean? My mom always resided our way. So the clothes I used to wear was always brand. So hey, we have a slang home, you're cutting it, boy. So I just fuse the two and I call myself <laughs> Slammer Cutter. It's nothing sexy or well, sexy. I, I, I know because I really thought, I mean, I'm not going to lie, that's no, what I was thinking. No, everybody just think that, but that is where I really get it from, you know mm. what I mean? So it has any, absolutely nothing to do that. Nothing to do that, but anybody who know me know I could freestyle and make up stuff on the spot and do my thing. So mm, Slammer, boy, and then dressing up, mm, you're cutting it. So I just. Well, you're talking big, I'll put it to the test. Yeah, know? man, no problem. No problem. Do you want something now? It's Vibes. Mm-hmm. Hey, 96.1. It's your boy Slam Makota. Everybody don't know me at Top Shutter. Everybody don't know Ian Megley. I link with Clyde and Miguel Kimberly. You don't know the freestyle. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And moving along to Mr. Jax. Well, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. I mean, Mr. M- Pumper. Yeah, yeah. I'm with <laughs> Miss and Mr. Bustune. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Happy to be yeah, here. Yeah. Happy to be here. Yeah. Happy, to be here. Yeah. happy to be in Trinidad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell, us, tell us for those again who don't know about Jax. Born in Toronto, yeah. Born in Toronto, back and forth to Trinidad and Tobago all my life. Summers spending up here, winters coming down, depending. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like mangoes, so I'm here. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a fan of soca, so that's what started there. I just like to be in the crowd watching the performers. At one time, I was at Insomnia, and I got pulled on stage from Blacks, and I ended up doing a little thing when you sing a hunt. All day are hunting. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 and right. But right, I get right. I get infected, boy. That is it. That was it. That <laughs> was yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Simple and done. Who are some of the people that you look up to in terms of performance wise? Oh God, the top dogs, Marshall, Bungie, Blacks, Kess, Destra, all the people because they, I like the people who can sing, perform the whole time and still sound close to the record. Yeah, that is a that's what, yeah, that exactly. Is a and yeah. that adrenaline and you have to well, keep pumping, yeah, mm-hmm. there's a lot of endurance that you have to have. Uh-huh, yeah. Trust me, it's that kind of stuff. Like, even Shuwen, Shuwen's the next one. That oh does, yeah, oh gosh, right. yeah. yeah. Shuwen so, always jump in. And, yeah. yeah, so Definitely. that's the whole thing. I'm, I'm just a fan of Soka and I decided, you know what? Let me put my foot in the ring, put my best effort forward, and see if I can catch an affection for everybody on the outside. So how many years now you've been in it? I've been singing for about five years. In the washroom, about 12. But I mean, that was, that was my own personal time. Right? <laughs> right. Yeah. That's a good one. Right. Yeah. But you know, I, I'm just coming here, giving my offerings. Hopefully everybody enjoys it, and we're here. Yeah. Do you think it's been a bit challenging seeing that the uh, industry is so saturated with soca artists? Well, and I mean, to get your foot in? Well, and I mean, to continue to stay afloat. Yeah. Well, I mean, the industry may be saturated, but I mean, 
music is music. All music is saturated. It's just a matter of what people want to hear and everything. There's always going to be different sections where people could fit in. So I'm just trying to find my spot. Yep. And what do you think that you are bringing different to the table? I'm bringing a different perspective because I'm from abroad coming back here, going back and forth. So I can di- give a different perspective. From all the people living in here, they may not see mm-hmm. what I see. Mm-hmm. And all the people that understand, anybody who's been to Toronto <laughs> understands the culture in Toronto. So sure. I bring that perspective here. And again, I like mangoes. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what better reason than that? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Slammer Kate, your song, oh gosh. Yes. I know it's a, a normal, I always say it. Oh gosh. Yes. Yeah. It's a normal slang yeah. that we are using in the Caribbean. You know, and when I was writing my song, mm. I'm a joyous person. Anybody who's, you know, spoke to me before, mm-hmm. know basically that Slammer Kata is a fun loving guy. Right. So mm. I say, you know what? I'm going to put out this party song. And what slang I could use, boy? Oh gosh, is a natural slang. So it just flow, and I just put it to paper. Something like ant. Uh, no scene. Right. Ent. Yeah. Ting. Oh right. gosh, ting. ting. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, it just went from there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that is it, basically. All right. Okay. And uh, Mr. Jax? Well, mine's a little bit more painful. I may need a moment of silence. <laughs> You know, when you come in for carnival, you have all your money and everything planned. You say, I go in this party and everything. But once you pay for your flight, uh oh, bill collector call. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I can't go in some year. Okay, no problem. Uh oh, car payment coming. Hmm. Yeah. Well, maybe I can't play Juve. Uh oh, yeah. mortgage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe I should just stay home. So right. it's just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's just a painful thing. So you have to ask, why me, Lord? Yeah. You understand? That's just. It's just so painful. basically, Jack Stewart is saying that. He gets stuck playing mass outside the ropes. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Because right. he couldn't afford it now. Yeah. So. You understand? Yeah. And we had the phone up for next year too. We got to take a loan, somebody tell me. <laughs> People just <laughs> give a loan here yeah. to play mass. So we go take a loan next year, but yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they can tell a little bank endorsement. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and so. then you all have a collaborative song as well. Yeah. yeah. Called Link, Link Up. up. Which was produced by Mastermind and, and also Shannon Shan. the Kingdom, yeah, yeah. yeah. Toronto, well, yeah. Was the story behind Link Up? Link Up, you know, well, Jack's been doing his thing. I've been doing my thing separately, and we just decided, you know, Jax, it's time for us to join forces Bella and vibes. do a, Bella vibes and do a tune together. You always be liming and stuff together in Toronto as well. Well, yeah, 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 yeah just okay. normal, you know what I mean? But Jax be doing his thing, I've been doing my thing. Yeah. But we decided, you know what, Jax, let we come together and do a combination. Yeah, we was right? in the studio and we just had a couple bottles of um water, <laughs> and we just decided, hey. Let me try and link up something. Like, yeah, eh? link up. We light bulbs, with our vibes. Light bulbs and stars yeah. start shining. All, yeah, and that wow. is it. All right. Vibes. All right. Well, mm-hmm. Slammer, uh, the floor is yours to introduce your jam for us yeah. first of all. Well, this Slammer cut had the real top shot at 96.1. <laughs> Kimberly and Clyde, you don't know. August. Hey. I'm promoters ready. Get the artists ready. I say we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. All the girl them ready. Get the venues ready. Masqueraders ready. I say we ready, we ready, we ready. Oh, gosh. If it's fetta fettin, tell them if it's massa playin, tell them if it's rum or drinkin. Headband I'm not shoutin. Oh, gosh. If it's gala whinin, tell them any way you limein, tell them if it's pump or pumpin. Oh, don't tell me nothing when you see me getting on. You know I have no behavior apart from the day I'm on. You could find me in a vet, you could find me in a band. See me. 
very, very catchy. Oh, I have no behavior. I am 96.1. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you hey. could find me in a band. You could find me in Clyde. Jamming up on a woman. Oh. All right, all right. Oh. Yeah. Wow, boy. Real vibes, boy. Yeah. Tell me, what, what do you think was the difference from your first song that you ever put out to now? Yeah, you know what I mean? The difference was just basically lyrics and trying to find a niche that people really enjoy. Before, I just used to be writing songs for writing songs' sake. Right. You know what I mean? Songs that I would basically enjoy. But now, when I write in, I focus on what the crowd yes. might want yes. to hear and yes. enjoy. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Yeah. Mr. Jack. Yeah. Yes. Ready for you now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I ready back. The floor back. is yours. The floor is yours. Well, this is Jack here. This is a painful story. It's a true story. It's a true carnival story. And I just want to ask everybody, if you had a dollar, what would you spend it on? <laughs> Doubles or costume? Mm. Why me, Lord? <laughs> June! Why me? to pay, car no that to pay, phone that to pay, so why me, Lord, is food that to buy, is gas have to buy, I ask myself why, cause I always say this every year, next year is my side up in there, honey I be putting down, I spend on women buying rounds, every week and every fet, is empty pockets, no regrets, all my dreams are mine's gone up in smoke, smoke, and I'm jamming outside the road. Big like that, you know what we say. Just heard from Jack Switter. 
Why me? Why me, Lord? Why I mean, before that, oh gosh, but I find it would have been, oh gosh, why me, Lord? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, fantastic contributions, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about your social media presence and where can people find yeah. you on social media? Well, IG, the original Slamakota, mm. and everything else at Slamakota. I ain't hard to find. Trust hard to find. I ain't hard to find. And IG, Jax Soka, J A X X. Okay. Stephen Jacks on IG. Watch this morning thing, boy. <laughs> Stephen Jacks, S T E F A N J A X X on IG and Jack Soka on Facebook. I'm around. Yeah. I'm here. And bookends. Jacksoka at gmail.com. Right. Yes. Yeah, Stephon oh. yeah, Mark at gmail.com. Mm. Right. What's okay. Lamakota? Link to everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everybody yeah. can find. We're around. We're around. What do what, what you all think about the contribution so far for the season? How you all feeling about it? Real good. Real good. I mean, songs coming left, right, and center. Yes, yes. You yeah. know what I mean? And some of the bigger guns. Some yet. of the big guns haven't uh, fired yet. Release but, yet, yeah, but so. real yeah. good so far. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we just and it's are, a short season, so I mean, the contributions, especially stuff coming from abroad too, like Barbados and all that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a good scene to see. Yeah. Wow. Trust me. All right. Well, guys, want to wish you all the best of luck. Okay, Thank you for I just want to say, honestly, mm-hmm. though, thanks to you, Clyde, mm-hmm. Raw, everybody who make uh. it possible because uh. I mean 96.1 we are feminine. Uh-huh. We appreciate that to know. Ting ting ting. Don't take that for watch uh-huh. my, don't take that for granted. Well we appreciate that. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I just that. respect. You know what I mean? Yeah, just yeah, respect yeah. putting our face to the name because I mean we live abroad. Inverted commas foreigners. <laughs> right. And it's not easy. Right. Yeah. And we just appreciate all they giving us the time yeah. to just come and really just and give our offerings. Give our offerings. Yeah. That yeah. is it. Yeah. We ain't asking for nothing. One love just man. One, one love. love. We just love. appreciate love. that. Mm-hmm. All right. As you say, it's all about the music. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's the music. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Yeah. And once you produce, people always get it twisted. Once you produce excellent music, you will get great feedback. Yeah. For sure. You understand? Yeah. So, so that's what we hope. Just we just hope that these stories that we carry out, people feel and yeah. enjoy it and we can go from there. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. So thanks, guys, once again. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Yeah, all the best. All right, guys. You heard it. It's about 10 more minutes before we take it to the top. We also have one more person in studio with us.